Hello everyone and welcome back to Chatterbox at Genesis Designs and Modelcraft and I've got some set dressing just for a minute. This is a fairly quick one, I don't really have any reviews or anything but a bit of feedback for you for some from some of the comments I've had, a couple of bits uh, of plans and a few little things to show you. So um, the enduring topic so far of Chatterbox is paintbrushes, right? So I've had another paintbrush debacle today actually with this ammo paintbrush ammo of mig i bought a set of these uh here or a couple of the others weathering paintbrushes i think these are supposed to be um and they're fine and i was using this one today and you might note that it it it, it lacks any kind of bristles at all well that's because in use using acrylics i know i kept noticing some of the hairs in the end were longer you know it was losing its straight edge this is a small flat brush really useful for weathering actually flat flat brushes because you can actually quite easily draw lines with them um so i kept on pulling the longer strands out with my tweezers and every time i pulled one out another one would appear and um and then i realized that the whole lot was loose and the whole lot came out and this brush has been used and i'm not i'm not kidding maybe half a dozen times so that's another one to avoid um, at least if you're expecting any longevity out of it. I had a few recommendations in the comments, so thanks to all of these people for those, and those are as follows, and I will get some of all of these brushes and give them a little try. So Guy Wilson 187 suggested Citadel Miniatures brushes, and that's a brilliant idea, never thought of that. Uh, AD Knowles uh, uses Raphael 8404. Uh, Kiefer 22, I think I might know you from Brit Modeler, uh, suggested come memory point brushes and told, told me where to look for those. And Roger Newman uses a company called Rosemary & Co who produce sable brushes based in the Lake District and says they're pretty decent. And on top of that, a gentleman called Colin Dickens got in touch with me after the last video and said he had a couple of Windsor & Newton Series 7 brushes going spare that he'd bought in error. Uh, and would I like them at a preferential rate? Um, and so here they are, in great big gorgeous tubes, a couple of Series 7 brushes for me to try out at um, something of a discount from the uh, storefront price. A huge, huge thanks to Colin for those, and obviously a sticker will be winging its way to him in return. Seems like a good trade to me. So that's Paintbrush Gate for this week. <laughs> um, a huge and very sincere thank you to all, for, to all of you for all the comments on the last video now I realise there are a lot of comments because I'm giving some stuff away yeah I get it that's um, to be absolutely brutally honest is one of the reasons I do it but it's so good to, to get all these views and a lot of uh, new first time commenters as well which I'm really really pleased to see and guys don't be shy keep on commenting it helps the channel it helps build a community and you can all help each other at the end of the day in the comments section so I'm really really happy with that I have decided on some winners I said some winners didn't I because I did only have one prize the Messerschmitt 109 kit and the airbrush set um, I've decided who's going to get that prize but I've also decided that I'm going to add to it um, and there's another person that's going to get a prize too I got some promotional gear sent through from Airfix a couple of weeks back so I'm going to pass some of that on to a second prize winner but I need to speak to someone in the trade about maybe grabbing a couple more bits um, and there's a third winner too I will reveal all in the next chatter box those people will all be announced so keep tuning in for that a few people commented that they'd love it if I would donate the prizes to models for heroes that's a lovely thought I don't disagree in principle however I do volunteer for Models for Heroes and in fact going to be working at an event for them this week so I don't feel a huge amount of pressure to support them in that way uh, at this time but I appreciate the gesture um, that it's well met alright White Lightning <laughs> that damned Italo F35 
I'm finding it quite funny the way that's dividing people, the comments in there. I sort of expected it to, but at the end of the day, it is just a silly build. It wasn't meant as a serious or realistic build, obviously. So um, please bear that in mind when viewing. So the main thing for this video then, some of you may recall, I'm just going to move my set dressing aside for a second, that I bought this mosquito at the Avon show. This is the second release of the newly tooled Airfix Mosquito. Now, why do I bring this into the, into the screen? Well, again, in the last few videos, there's been an uptick in commenting and viewing, um, and, in, and, a, and a popular theme has been in the last few videos that people want to see more Book of Genesis. Uh, they like the, t the tips and the techniques videos, and the, you know, they like the deep dives. I get that because I do too. In the, in the channels I watch, that's the sort of stuff I like as well. So I've decided, alongside the other series builds that are ongoing and about to start, I'm going to take this and I think I might do it under the Book of Genesis banner rather than as a video series in its own right. Then again, I might not. Not really decided yet, but please feel free to comment. Um, I'm going to build this kit and I'm going to video it and it's going to be a very very detailed mini series showing tools, techniques, how to's all the way through. The reason I've chosen this model, initially I had it in mind to use a, I have a Tamiya 72nd F16 sitting in the, in the shelves. I thought about using that one. But the reason I've actually chosen this, chosen this one is because this kit was designed from the outset by the kit designer to be friendly for beginners. Uh, the instructions have got lots of bits to reflect that. So I actually thought, you know what? I think this one, as well as potentially not being quite such an easy build as a Tamiya F16 might be, this could be a really good place to start. So this will be serialized, very, very detailed techniques, and I will try to present it with a view to being biased towards the less experienced and beginner modelers. And there seem to be quite a few of you that watch my videos. Um, I say try because it's easier said than done. As someone who's been modeling for a very, very long time and I've reached a reasonably advanced level, it's really easy for me to forget what people don't know uh, because it's just built into my body's cells at this point that I know that certain things are certain things and the way to deal with them and it's easy because of that to forget that beginners don't know these things and it's really really difficult to put yourselves in the shoes of someone who really doesn't know anything I mean that with the greatest of respect so I'll try uh, and I'll be guided I thought about presenting it as maybe a build along with me type mini series again that's definitely an option you're being pre-warned right now if you want to take that approach and build a mosquito along with my videos, then go out and get one now uh, and be ready for it. But that's going to be upcoming, probably under the Book of Genesis banner, but as a serialised build, build the Airfix Mosquito for beginners. So that's going to come soon. Clearly, I haven't actually started it yet. Um, what I have been doing, I'll come back to the set dressing. The set dressing has been chosen with the reason. This is a Hasegawa... Hurricane 2C. I built this a number of years ago. Uh, I don't even know how many, but it's a lot as part of a group build on the British internet forum group uh, Britmodeler. Um, I have built other Hurricanes since, but the first Mark II Hurricane I've built since then is this one. Step aside, Asagawa kit. This being, of course, the new Armour Hobby 2C, which is well underway as you can see. In fact, almost done had I got another couple of days off work I'd probably get this finished this week but I hope to get it finished this week anyway uh, this is going great guns just a quick look for you sneak peeks there we go that's your lot there'll be two videos on this on the armor hobby hurricane coming out soon there is the build video and then there'll be the finishing video so two videos on that and I might even release them both at the same time so you can binge watch that uh, also coming up will be the start of the Airfix Spitfire 
G-I-R-T-Y, or Gertie as we're just going to call her henceforth. Obviously I've started on the propeller on that build, but I have made a start. And this is where, what I've done so far. Not much, granted, but I have filmed an introduction video and that is ready to roll as well as soon as I decide to release it. On top of that, I've got a few reviews queued up and ready to go and several kits ready to review when I get a minute just to do the filming. I've been very, very busy, as I hope you can tell. There we go, we've already hit 11 minutes, so I'm going to call it there. Um, please carry on watching for all of those things. Next Chatterbox will have the winners for the 5k celebration uh, giveaway, uh, so look out for that. Uh, and with that said, you know the words, it only remains for me to say, look after yourselves, look after each other, and Genesis out.